Hey, how's it going everybody? So uh, today I want to talk about something. It's with the car, right? So 2020 Tesla Model Y is what we have. Uh, but this will work with any Tesla. Tesla Model Y, Model 3, I believe they fit. Now you want to get the ones that are specific to your car, I will say though. So make sure you're picking out that. But this is something I get asked about all the time. People are asking about the mud flaps. The mud flaps in the car. And one thing that you'll notice with Tesla, specifically uh, the Model 3 and the Model Y anyway, is that the back area of it, of the car, kind of bulges out a little bit. And people will notice that um, on long drives, you're kicking up rocks, dirt, that sort of thing. You get chips in the paint and everything like that to the point where people will actually put on PPF strip right back there just to protect the car. So one of the first things I did um, was put on some mud flaps. Not first thing. I mean, one of the things I did was put on some mud flaps. And then I kind of you know, played around with different varieties of them, different versions of them, that sort of thing. And I came across these ones and I really do like the way that they fit. So um, this is what we're going to be talking about today. A couple of accessories. Uh, these are from my friends over at Our Coach. Our Coach might be saying that wrong, probably am. But uh, nonetheless, there's a link down in the description below where you can get it, save a little bit of money on them. It's a fairly inexpensive fix for the car or for this type of solution. And it's um, super easy to install. I'm going to show you guys that today. So sit back, relax. You guys are watching the tall Tesla guy. So like I said, these are from my friends over at um, Our Coach, A-R-C-O-C-H-E, Our Coachy. And um, there's a couple of things that I want to talk about. Um, you know, they basically come in these nondescript boxes for the most part. But um, uh, this is one thing that, um, let's see if I can even get this open. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's not exciting by any means. But I'm major into like uh, organizing and keeping everything tidy and neat and stuff like that. Uh, one thing I noticed with my version of the Tesla Model Y, the 2020, you actually do get a center console tray within the armrest. Okay, so it's a pretty deep well in there and you actually get a center console tray, which is really nice. However, uh, if you have one after that, after the model build that I have, uh, before even, I don't think the Model 3 came with one, uh, you need to put something in there. And this is kind of a great solution. Um, it's it's kind of neat, it fits in there perfect. Like I said, it's not exciting, but I like the fact that it's got these slots in there for stuff, um, you know, credit card, phone, whatever you want to put in there, change, that sort of stuff. And then it's got a slot here for the, um, the outlets, the outlet that's there, the 12 volt that's underneath there, and there's also a light under there too. So you're not gonna block anything with this, but um, I do like the way that it feels and fits and everything like that too. So this is something down there, but that's not what we're talking about today. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about the mud flaps, right? So what I wanna show you guys, again, it's a pretty nondescript box that they come in, uh, but what you get in the package is all four mud flaps, and you kind of see them right here. This is the way that they look. And one thing about these um, that I like, these are actually no drill mud flaps. I didn't want to have to drill on the side of the car or anything like that. These fit on the clips that are already there, that you see there. Uh, when you start, when you go underneath the car and you look, you're gonna see those clips, and I'll show you guys that in a minute. Um, they have them labeled, you know, right rear, left rear, right front, left front. And then this little clip fits around the side of it that you see under there as well, right in the wheel well. But what I like is they're, they're kind of a real low profile design. It's nothing that hangs down. I don't have to worry about it going over speed bumps or anything like that. And it, uh, it has a really good kind of clean fit. And I started putting some of them on there, but I wanted to jump out and show you guys the rest of them uh, from when I filmed it the other day. So uh, we're gonna jump out there and look at that. I like the way that they kind of curve in and you can kind of see here that it just doesn't really stick out that much, which is nice. And that's kind of what I was looking for. I didn't want to have to worry about it when I went over curves. I didn't want to have to worry about it when, you know, I'm driving or anything like that, you know, really majorly affecting my range. I wanted to almost them to almost look like they were seamless, you know, OEM, all that sort of stuff. So what I'm going to show you guys, uh, now I did do the front ones on the driver's side already. I'm going to show you guys the passenger side. I got a couple of tips and tricks that I used for them to get them off. So one of the advantages of this one, honestly, uh, is you get these rivet, these plastic rivets. And these, now these are a little bit longer than the ones that you have with Tesla, which are nice. So it gives you a little bit more secure, you know, kind of uh, station there. Now what this also has in here too is a plastic type of screw that actually screws in there. And as it screws in there, you can kind of see it spreads it out a little bit there. 
Uh, one thing I'll also recommend is getting a teeny little screwdriver because you're going to notice once you get in there, taking those Tesla rivets off, you want to make sure and not break them just in case these ones don't work. But getting those Tesla rivets off there, uh, it's difficult to do without a um, you know a mini screwdriver. And then you need a 10 millimeter uh, wrench for the back of it. And that's kind of what I have here. So we're just going to jump in and, and get this off and then kind of go from there. So these are the, um, the rivets that I was talking about. And you actually kind of just pop them off and you'll see that these are the these are the tesla ones so they are actually really really short but it uh it does the trick for what's in there now so we're going to go in and pop off both of them we're going to get out two of these uh included screw things now these are plastic but at least they won't uh won't rust away and you can actually see the difference here so this is the one that they provided this is the one that tesla gives us uh, you know, we've got maybe a um, quarter inch more, which is nice. Just gives us a little bit more, uh, you know, strength and stability in there, I guess. So we are going to get going. You know, we just basically align this up. I put this little clip on here. You'll notice that there. So really the, uh, the clips that they sent with the mud flaps actually just pop right in place. And I'll kind of show you what it looks like uh, now that they're on there. You can kind of see... Uh, they're pretty unobtrusive. They don't stick out too far. They have a nice kind of shape to them. Uh, makes them look OEM there. They're pretty snug into this, uh, that I think anyway. And then uh, they should do the trick for me. So um, they, they're pretty solid. But they've got a little bit of give too. So if I go over a speed bump or something like that, I don't have to worry about it breaking off. On the back, you actually have a screw underneath. There's an undermounted screw underneath the car that... Uh, Kind of holds the the mud flap but it's actually holding this trim piece in place and the downside to it is a lot of people had that screw just kind of break off when they were taking it off now i got lucky on the driver's side um i hate to uh say it out loud just in case it doesn't come true on this side but um i'm hoping that it uh it stays together and i'm, and I'm good to go there so we're just going to do the same follow the same process we did in the front in the back here and then we are uh we are good to go so i'm going to jump it through this one's even a little bit harder to see with some of the uh the lighting that we have here but uh if you can kind of see in there uh it's the same kind of function it's got a uh uh there's a clip here now this is the tesla clip pops off just the same and then this is the screw that everybody hates talks about right there so we are going to go after it and see what we can get back one as you can tell i would question if you actually need a back one but uh Nonetheless, I am going for it. You don't want to over tighten that, of course, but like I said, it, it just it really gives it a, a super clean look. We are golden. It's got a, I mean, it's got a really, it's got a really solid uh, feel to it, and you can kind of see them here. You see there, it's got the, uh, it's got a nice flow to it. It, it even curves around the, the bumper, the fender. Um, you know, looking at the front, you can kind of see that as well too. So jumping back into it, um, like you saw, it was super easy to get those things installed. Um, I will say that uh, uh, make sure you double check that screw in the back. I got super lucky with mine. I didn't have to worry about it. I didn't break either side, which was great, but I know people have broken that in the past. Um, they've come through trying to, you know, go after it kind of aggressively and you can snap that screw right off. But, um, you know, the install is one of the easiest things that I've done with the car, um, other than maybe some of the lights and stuff like that that I put in there, but it's really easy to do. It's even easier if you take the tire off. Now, I didn't do that today. I don't have a jack stand. I don't have like a low profile jack stand to do that. Link in the description below. There's also a code to save you a little bit of money on it, which is always great. Uh, they're fairly inexpensive anyway, and they have pretty quick shipping, which is something that I like. And then they're, they basically look OEM, which is also nice too. So. You know, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Appreciate you guys tuning in and, and checking this stuff out. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, if you guys are having any concerns or any issues with it or anything like that. But, um, you know, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and that you're, you know, able to get out there and enjoy yourselves a little bit. So uh, just make sure and stay safe out there. Thanks for watching, everybody.